Hello everyone. Today we will be looking at Toonly. Toonly is made by the same people that made Doodly. Doodly was a whiteboard and blackboard explainer type video software, whereas Toonly more focuses on using cartoons to make explainer type videos. As you can see here, I've already made a video. This is a book review of the book Managing Oneself by Peter Drucker. I will put a link to that in the description. It's just designed to show you what you can make with Toonly. I've also done a review of Doodly, which you can find in the description as well. First, let's look at Toonly. So we'll create a video. I'll go right into it. So Toonly comes with a lot of pre-made scenes, backgrounds and characters. Probably worth getting the Enterprise Edition so you get more of them. These are all the scenes that you get in the Enterprise one, which I have, the Enterprise Edition. And it's quite simple. You just drag and drop and it will load all the elements into it. Let's preview that. So you can preview scenes one by one or you can preview the whole thing. You can preview the whole thing Click in there. We'll just preview this scene by going there. So th that allows you to see all the animations that will occur. This timeline here is quite good. You can see exactly when each thing will appear. So title, the moving, the person. So I can change where I would like certain things to occur, the length of it uh, quite easily just by moving things around that way and then it allows us to sync animations a bit more easily so i've created a new scene there so backgrounds are like scenes but they don't really have any animations so we'll just drop the background here of the auditorium and then that will automatically load no way to add your own background but there is quite a few of them make sure you get the enterprise edition in order to get all of them though uh, from here we can start dropping characters so i can drop this guy there and i can make him appear whenever i want uh, depending on what time i want him to appear it's generally good to make sure that the scene will last for as long as the character will be there. So the characters are quite good. Uh, there's a lot of animations you can do with most of them. Not all of them will have the same inbuilt animations. So right now, as you see, he'll appear, he'll be idle. Then we can add a new one for him to start doing more things. So we can make, start making him look angry. Then we can make him change to gaming. Then we can see what that looks like. So we'll come in, looks angry. Then we'll get him gaming and then it'll disappear. So they're pretty standard animations for most of the characters, but not all of them will have quite as wide of a range as all of these. So these are all the animations that most of them have, but not all of them will have them. So let me see, there's some that don't have them. I'll draw one out. Yep, so this businessman here, he's only got the option of idle, so not really doing anything and drinking wine. Let's create a new scene. So here, we can drop in a lot of the scenes also have people already in it. So this is a pre-made scene. And then when you hit play, you can see everything does everything, zooms in, zoom out. And then obviously you have the uh, ability to edit it. So if I want this guy 
to do something else after he exercises, after he's running. They can get him to change to to like exercising afterwards. And then from there, I can drop in object. So you can just drop in random objects. There's a few there. More, quite a few objects you can drop in. So maybe I will just drop in this flag. Go here. I can see it. Objects don't have too much real animation. They kind of just appear. And then you can choose where you want it to be. So I can flip it around, move it to the back, move it to the front, and change the size of it. Uh, sizing is the same as what Doodly was, where you'll always move exactly in this square type sizing. Like I can't just make it extremely long or extremely fat or short. Same with the people. It will always be like that. Uh, this is a quick way of just previewing the scene is just dragging that across. You don't have to necessarily, if you just want to see the animations, you don't necessarily just have to hit play. So let's go back here into scene two. So we'll look at the text. So text is not quite as good as it is in Doodly. This is more designed for writing headings than actual large chunks. So say if I drop that in there, and then I just start typing, see how it goes. It keeps going like that. It's not really designed to do large chunks because you can't even really see what you're writing. Hitting enter doesn't do anything either. So you can't go down a line by hitting enter. Um, you can change the duration of how the animation in and out, the color and the font all there as well. So if you need something with a lot of text, you're better off using Doodly. But if you're just going to be doing headings, then this is fine. You can just use Toonly for that if you're more concerned with animations. So audio. So most of the audio is actually the same as what you can find in Doodly doesn't look like, because I have them both, it doesn't really look like they brought in any new ones. Pretty simple as before you just drag and drop. So here's something a bit easier to do that wasn't in Doodly. So music like this, that went for a minute 20. It'll keep going across all the scenes if you want it to. Or you can edit it here, get rid of the playthrough. And then you'll see it doesn't appear in the other scenes. So here it's getting it just to play through this entire scene. So it's made this scene long. We can just make it shorter so it only appears in scene one. Um, but I'll have these appear in all the scenes. So I'll put the playthrough and then there it should appear in all of them. You can only edit the sound from where it originally came to so the original scene. And we'll change this volume to a bit lower because it's background music. And then like Doodly, you have the ability to do your own voiceover. So you can get these done here. Hello, this is me reviewing Doodly. And then it will be down here. 
we can replay that. And then that's that. So usually when I was using this to make my book review, I would do a recording per scene because it's a bit easier to time that way. So if there was something I needed to say in this scene, i will do the recording for that and made sure that the background lasted long enough or then you'll kind of get cut off. Now, the only thing we can add of our own, we can obviously upload our own font, but we can also upload our own objects. Objects won't have any animation in it though. So technically you could use this to upload your own background. You just stretch it uh, as to match the length of the background. Here's a moxicillin. Here's a character that I've made for my website, Memorize Medicine. So we can get him to upload just to show you guys. And he'll be here. Resize him. And then if you look in the settings, you get no real type of real effects from him, unlike the other characters where there's a broad range of, of animations they can do. You'll only get very limited amounts. So if you need a lot of custom animations for a lot of custom characters, you're better off maybe using a different software. But if you're happy with all the characters that you can see here, then Toonly should be the right thing for you. So here we can just preview this scene. And then as you can see here, part of my voice over went through from scene one. So if I wanted to preview the full thing, it would then go to scene one and two. So that's it for most of Toonly. Let's just quickly show you my video. I won't show you the whole thing, but I'll just show you the, the amount of animations you have to kind of do in order to make um, in order to make a book review. So this is my book review of Managing Oneself, written by Peter Drucker. Good book if you do need some guidance in learning how to best optimize how you work. So as you can see, there are nine scenes in here. Each scene has quite a lot of characters. Um, music and voices, that's just the title screen. Here you can see there's quite a bit happening. The more complex the scene, the more you can see there's more kind of animation happening. I will put the video link to this one on the description so you can see what a full video made by Toonly is like. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Laters.